Welcome guys, so this was a requested tutorial and in this I will show you guys two things. So first I will show you guys a simple way of doing a day and night cycle and secondly um, these lamps or these lampposts um, you guys see here. So during the day these lights will go off and during the night these lights will turn on. And in this example I'll show you uh, timing is key so you have to match the time uh, from your lights with your sky basically and I will show you guys how to do that um, before I do begin however I'll just give you a um, a quick summary of how I have done this so uh, normally if you want to change our um, our sky uh, our sun's position basically then we need to select our light which would be if you type here our light source this one right here then if you um, if we rotate our light, our sun should rotate once we click on sun and click on the uh, refresh material. But rather than having to do this manually, um, I have used blueprints to do this um, in an automated way. And then for this, for the lamppost, I have made a an, an actor blueprint. And I'm using the lamppost, the um, static mesh I made inside Blender. And I'm using a point light. And now I will go and show you guys how I did this. Alright, so uh, to first thing to start off, we'll go to our world outli outliner and we'll find our. Either you guys can select right here if you guys don't have anything in the way, you guys can select the sky straight away, and you should have your BP sky sphere selected, which um, which comes with your um, default template as well. So if you open a let's say a third person example template, you guys should be able to find your default um, sky and your light source. So once you've selected this, or if you just want to make sure, just type sky here and just select this. Once we have this selected, we'll go into blueprints and open level blueprint. Okay, so once inside our uh, level blueprint, with the sky selected, the BP sky um, sphere selected in, in the background, we'll right click and we'll type update sun um, direction. So this will, once we change the rotation of our light, this should update the um, location of, of the sun in the sky basically and then the next thing we'll do is we'll go back and down here I'll type light source or whichever light you're using as your default light uh, in your scene just select this and I'll type down here add rotation now I don't I, I don't know if this makes any difference uh, which one you choose I have tried both of them and both of them are giving me the result I want so I'll just go for world location right now now then, um, we have three axes here, X, Y, and Z. The axis we want to look for is Y, so we want it going from east to west, if that if that's the right um, right one. So down here, I'll just type um, I'll just type one for now. So then, and then um, so one uh, and then we want an event begin play. Now the, you can only have one of this, so I'll just drag this one down here. So now when the game starts, I'll t I add a delay here. This um this this um delay will get our rotations looking nice and smooth rather than constantly going across. This will look um a lot smoother and we can loop this um again and again. Now we'll connect this down to add actor world um rotation. So when the event um event begins after 0.1 seconds, this rotation takes place. Now what we want from this rotation is we'll connect this up to update sun direction. So once this rotation takes place, the sun's direction should be updated, and I believe this is this is it for the um, day-night cycle. So down here, I'm using a point on value and one in the y. Now you guys will have to change these values if you guys want a really really long day, um, because I am making this video, so I'm, I'm keeping this um, I'm keeping my day-night cycles really short. So now if we press simulate. All right, I am missing one thing. So to go back, what I'm missing right now is, so the first rotation takes place of one one degrees on the y-axis, but it's not looping. So I'll just take this update sun direction. So once the first direction has been updated, I'll go back here, and after point one second, um, another um, it will move more uh, um towards the y, and this will now keep looping throughout the time. So now if I click simulate. And now you guys can see 
that as our sun goes down, our shadows start moving forwards. Now, this doesn't look very smooth, um, but when the, when the sun is really going slow, you won't be able to tell any difference. And then when it goes down, the um, stars show up. And then if we just wait a little while, the sun should come up from the other side. And if you guys also want, you guys can now watch live time here, what's happening. So it will show you um, as the nodes get um, used up, you will see a bar going. So if I, if I stop this and if I play, you guys can see that this is functioning and this is just looping now. Just constantly um, I'm looping to get the result you want. So this is how you um, how you make the day and night basic cycle. Now I do want to tell you guys and I think you guys might find this useful. Now I did try two other ways which looked slightly better but they had a lot of serious issues. So they looked a lot smooth um, when, when the sun was setting. The, the shadows looked a lot more smoother. So those two ways were first thing I did was I used an um, event tick. Now a, an um, event tick instead of, so event begin play of course start, um, starts when the game starts and an event tick is um, kind of works on your frame um, on your frame rates as you guys can see right here it says uh, so this is called every single frame so the problem I was having with this so any time my frame rate changed the timing got all messed up and then the lights were um, turning on at the wrong time and the sun was not up at the right time which is why I couldn't use this and the second thing I use is a timeline now a timeline I also um, experienced a few issues basically um, as the, as I looped it uh, because um, four seconds um, so if you have one second in this, it's not always one second. It's it's really weird. I don't understand how this works. But what basically happened was, the the time just kept getting faster and faster and faster, and that was really annoying. So this is the best way I have found right now, to get our sun working and um, rotating. And of course, let's say if you guys also want to add any other events, you guys can just um just connect them down here. Let's say you want to add a sound, just just play the sound here and then connect the sound down here, and your sun should still keep working all right so now we do, uh, now we did this and now um, before I move on to the lights I will mention a few of the important things that you guys might want to do before you head on so then guys so first thing you want to make sure is in your light source you want to make sure that you set your light source to move movable because uh, because your light will be moving the Sun will be moving so you want to get nice shadows and down here I'll type static and you want to make sure that cast static shadows under your light is off we don't want any still shadows since our light is movable all right next thing if you are using a landscape just like me so just select the landscape and you want to make sure two things so if I go down um, in our lighting you want to make sure that you guys have a static shadow checked and a two-sided shadow and the far shadow checked as well. And down in our light mask setting, make sure your two-sided lighting is also ticked. Now I know these things because um, earlier I was having an issue where light was actually, the, the sun when it went down towards um, just below this landscape, the light was actually coming through the landscape. So just make sure you guys do this so you guys don't experience these problems. And now we will move on to making our lamppost and getting it to um, says setting up a um, time system so the intensity increases as the night comes so for our uh, for our lights or our lampposts what I will do is I will right click here and I will create a blueprint class and in here I'll choose an actor I'll call this um, let's say lamppost underscore BP so I know it's a blueprint Right, so now once I open this, now inside here we need two things. Now obviously you guys will not have the same mesh as me, but the main thing I'm, I'm trying to get to you is how the lighting system works. You guys can make any mesh you want or anything. So anyways, I'll just add my static mesh here. Uh, static mesh and I'll select this. Down here I'll choose my, my lamppost mesh. Okay, so once you have our lamppost mesh in here, what I'll do now is I'll go to add component and I'll look for a point light. Now to mention, if you guys do have those um those lampposts that actually like bend forwards, you guys could use spotlights for those and adjust it so um it hits the area that you want it to hit. Now normally with my um lamppost, what I like to do is 
I like to move my light outside because with this type of lamppost the, the problem is I like to keep my light around here so it actually hits the ground and make sure that this is the this is facing the part because um, otherwise the light actually doesn't actually um, go around the area and the shadows look really bad so this is what I like to do with mine now once you've done this I'll turn my intensity down to 500 uh, for the light and I'll change the color you guys don't have to do this I'll change the color to somewhere something like an orange so somewhere like a light orange and down in our visibility in our rendering I'll sub make sure point light is selected and uncheck visible now once you've done this we'll head over to our event graph okay so uh, now I'll Inside our um, event graph, I will show you guys how I did these lampposts and you guys can follow the same procedure. Now before I go through each of these nodes, I want to show you guys what this what this event is actually causing. So for this, I'll go down here and I'll simulate. Now I want you guys to keep your eyes on these and um, I'll actually help you guys to um, follow along this. So let's go. Now if you guys notice, there's an 8 second delay after the event begins. There's an 8 second delay. And after this delay, what happens is the point light visibility is set to visible and the intensity is set to 10,000. Now there's a 25 second delay which represents our night time. So we just have to wait for this to cool down. You can still see the stars are up and it's, it's, it's dark. So it's still night time. Now this light stays on until this timer goes down. And then I'll show you. And then once this goes down, this the intensity will decrease to 500. And now the day is coming, so after 2 seconds, it's gone off. And now the whole thing has finished. Okay, so now, now, you, now that you guys get the basic thing of how this blueprint is working, I'm using a lot of timers in the middle to uh, represent the daytime and the nighttime, and adjusting anything um, else with extra timers. Now one thing we don't have right now is that when this is finished, uh, when the next day comes and the next night comes, our our thing doesn't start all over again. So for this, it's very simple. We just take our last delay and we connect this to our first option right here. And this will re-trigger the event when the next night comes. So let's just make this right now. Okay, so now to start off, first you guys will make an, an event begin play. Just right click and type event begin play and you guys can bring it as this note. Then you will connect to it a delay with 8 seconds. From this delay, you guys will uh, click right click and you will type set visibility and you will choose point light, which is down here. Now a tick down here means that the thing is visible and a, when it's empty, it means that nothing is visible or the item that you have connected here is not visible. And then after it's become visible, we can set the intensity to 10,000 so you guys can also add a delay in between here if you guys want because uh, when it when it becomes visible the intensity will be at 500 okay so once it goes up to 10,000 then we wait 25 seconds which for me is my nighttime duration and after this when the Sun has started to come out the intensity goes down to 500 and after two seconds, the point light becomes invisible again. So there's no more light left. So the light essentially goes off. And then I have a one second delay here to make up for um, uh, any time, any any extra time um, that I may have. And the whole trigger restarts for the next uh, for the next night again. Now then, uh, once you've done this basic thing, I will also mention something. Now let's say uh, between setting the visibility and up to here. Let's say you want the light to look um, really, really nice and you want to go up slowly in stages. So you want the intensity, it starts from 500, you want it to go 1000, then 2000, 3000, all the way up to 10,000. Well, this is what you can do is you can drag in a node from here. And um, I have done this up here, so you guys can see this up here. You can drag a node from there, add a delay, and after it spawns at 500, add maybe a little delay, and then it goes up to 1000, and then add another delay. And then it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty much selecting and I'm um, copy pasting this over and over again until you're happy with the results. So here, as you guys can see, I start from 500. Um, it's down there. I start from 500. Then up here, I go from 1,000 all the way up to 10,000. 
and then the visibility is set to none and all these things and you can do the same thing with um uh, with the end visibility so it goes down slowly in a ladder so you guys could do these things it's really simple and easy it's, it's pretty uh, it's, it's pretty much um copying and and pasting uh the things and if you guys do have any errors you guys can click play in your scene and it will show you what's happening in your scene right here so this tells you when a trigger has actually fired so when this fires you guys will see this go forwards and up to here and then this cooldown will start now if we look in our scene you guys will notice that after actually i'll also minimize this now so now right now it's, it's night time and this should loop again so when the next day comes the light should go off and when the next night comes the light should turn on again let's see if that happens right now so the day is rising and our light goes lows and then our light is off now there's a sun our sun will start to set soon again so let's see what happens to our lights as our sun is setting our light turns on again so there we go guys this is the uh the basic tutorial on how you guys can make a simple light system uh with the sun although i do want you guys to be careful don't have um you know don't have insanely a uh, large amount of scene like i don't have a large scene because uh having this this many lights uh, movable lights is can be quite quite um, uh, expensive as well so be be careful and um, be clever about where you use your own resources maybe set up some uh, some LEDs or um, set up distances where lights for further away don't actually turn on so as your character move closer only then the lights will turn on so this is it guys this was the uh, basic tutorial on how you can make your um, your own sky and of course I told you um, I, I tried other tactics but this tactic worked out the best for me so this was it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching.